But not only are these lenses awesome in low light conditions, but they are really affordable. What's up guys? Uh, when you have to shoot at night in low light conditions and you don't have these lights available and you can't use this lens which is the 10 to 18 millimeters, it's really wide as you can see, but it kind of sucks in low light. So let's say you need some different option. In this video I'm gonna show you some lenses you can use in low light conditions and they're also very affordable just uh, after the intro. What's up guys, Dan Forlani here and welcome back to another video. If you're new to this channel please consider subscribing and since you're there hit the like button. Anyway, in this video, I want to show you two lenses which are awesome in low light. I'm uh, outside here on my terrace. It's night, I think it's past midnight. And right now, I'm shooting with the Canon 90D with the EFS 24mm 2.8. Wide open at 2.8, ISO 1000. However, right now I'm kind of cheating because I'm using LED lights. One here one here behind me but besides those two LEDs here there's no light like nothing if I turn these LEDs off which I'm gonna do in a few seconds light will be coming exclusively from outside and this would make it a pretty solid low light test almost no light <laughs> I'm gonna turn these LEDs off and I'm gonna bump up the ISO a little bit more one second so this is the EF S 24 millimeters 2.8 on the Canon 90D 3200 ISO. And I guarantee you, there's no other light besides the light coming from outside and maybe uh, somebody's windows over there. This is what this lens looks like in almost no light conditions. And ISO 3200. Let's try to bump it up a little bit more. Even though I don't like to set the ISO higher than 3200. But let's try. Okay, now the same lens. EFS 24mm 2.8 wide open at f2.8 on the Canon 90D. And the ISO is set to 5000. I don't know if it looks grainy, probably, I don't know. Hey, tell me what you think about it in the comments down below and since you're there hit the like button and subscribe if you aren't already I would like to show you another lens and we do the same test and it's gonna be the, the nifty 50 at night in very low light conditions right away and this is the nifty 50 almost in very low light conditions almost well uh, it's because I'm using the LEDs here in front of me and behind me. So let's say is the Nifty 50 in low light conditions like cheating with LEDs. This is currently ISO 200, aperture wide open f1.8 and I think it does a pretty good job. But now I'm gonna turn the LEDs off. So this is the Canon EF 50 millimeters f1.8 the nifty 50 in very low light conditions wide open and f1.8 and the iso set to 1600 what do you think about it let me know in the comments down below
back on the Canon 90D with the Nifty 50, but cheating with LED lights. And by the way, if you want to know more about these LEDs, check the links in the description. So I think these two lenses are really good in low light conditions. And but I believe the Nifty 50, because of its wider aperture till 1.8, performs way better than the 24 millimeters in extremely low light conditions. So let's say you're shooting at night, an event or anything, and you don't have professional lights, maybe you have a couple of LEDs like these, and that would make a huge difference with any lens, and it would look awesome with the 24 millimeters at 2.8. But let's say you don't even have these LEDs. Are you gonna get useful footage? Like, do you think what you have seen from the 24 millimeters, the 2.8, in this low light condition without the, the LEDs, would it be usable for you? Let me know in the comments down below. And I think I don't need to ask you the same question about the Nifty 50, because I'm sure it's really good. I'm sure, of course, you're gonna get useful footage with it in any kind of lighting conditions. So to wrap it up, not only are these lenses awesome in low light conditions, but they are really affordable. You can find the EFS 24 millimeters for 150 bucks. Check the link in the description. And the Nifty 50, well, you can find it, I guess, around 100 bucks or sometimes even less. So you have no excuse. Get one of these lenses and start shooting at night. Also during the day, of course, I made different videos about these lenses. Make sure you check them out. Of course, I know that there are lenses that perform even better than this, but number one, the price is 10 times the price of the EFS 24 millimeters. Number two, is there so much difference in the quality to justify the price? Well, I'm not sure actually, you know. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you guys in the next video.